Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the workbook solution for English for Standard 7, uh, Semester 2, Unit Number 1, The World Around Us. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, please do subscribe it for more videos. So, we'll be starting with the MCQs. First one, Water is the basic component of each cell and essential for our existence. It's option number B. Second, one of the following is not the function of water in our body. It is option number D, increase immunity in our body. Third, a person can survive without water for, it's option number C, less than a week. Fourth, to encircle the globe of the earth 180 times the length of uh, 7.1 million kilometers is required. It is option number C. Fifth, Half the world's creatures live, it's option B, under water. Sixth, almost all industrial units use water either, it's option B, both A and B. Seventh, hydroelectricity can be produced by, it's option D, both A and B. Eighth, for producing hydroelectricity, we need to, it's option B, build dams. Now, question number two is read the following text carefully and answer the questions given below them. First question, why is water essential for our existence? It's, uh, water is essential for our existence because it is the basic component of each cell. Second, list the functions of water in our body. Water maintains the temperature of our body at 36.8 degrees Celsius. It helps carry oxygen and nutrients to our cells. It removes waste material from our body. Third, why do we use water in our day-to-day -day life? We use water in our day-to-day -day life to cook food, wash utensils, clean different things, water the plants, flush the toilet, etc. We also use it for recreation like swimming, sailing and fishing. Now, second paragraph question answers. First one. How much water do we use for agriculture for today's world population every year? We use water as much as in a 10 meters deep, 100 meters wide and 7.1 million kilometers long volume for today's world population every year. Second, how is water an important habitat for the world's creatures? Life began in water and even today, half the world's creatures live under water. So we can say that water is an important habitat for the world's creatures. Third, only vast oceans form habitats for creatures on the earth. True or false? Why? False, from a small fresh water pond to the vast Pacific Ocean, almost every water body found on the earth is an important habitat for plants and animals. Now, third paragraph question answers. First one, for what different purposes do industrial units use water? Almost all industrial units use water either in the production or disposal of byproducts. Second, industrial belts have developed along river banks. Why? Industrial belts have developed along river banks because they need water in the production or for disposal of byproducts. Third, how is water an important component in, a, uh, in power production? River water is used to produce hydroelectricity by building dams and through thermal power plants. Now, question number three, fill in the blanks. First twin, water keeps our body temperature at 36.8 degrees Celsius. Second, Water helps carry oxygen and nutrients to our cells. Third, we also use water for recreation like swimming, sailing and fishing. Fourth, water is more essential for man than food. Fifth, water is an important habitat for animals and plants in the world. Sixth, all the industrial units use water not only for the production but also for the disposal of byproducts. Seventh, River water is used to produce hydroelectricity. Now, question number four, true or false? First one, water is the basic component of each cell. It is true. Second, 
वाटर हेल्प्स कैरी न्यूट्रिएंट्स टू अवर सेल्स इट इज ट्रू थर्ड वाटर कीप्स अस क्लीन एंड हैप्पी इट इज फॉल्स फोर्थ स्विमिंग सेलिंग एंड फिशिंग आर द एक्टिविटीज फॉर रिक्रिएशन इट इज ट्रू फिफ्थ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वाटर बॉडी फाउंड ऑन द अर्थ इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट हैबिटेट फॉर प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स इट इज ट्रू सिक्स इंडस्ट्रियल बेल्ट हैव डेवलप्ड अलॉन्ग रिवर बैंक्स बिकॉज दे फाइंड रिवर्स चीप्ड फॉर चीपर फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इट इज फॉल्स सेवेंथ बाय बिल्डिंग डैम्स थर्मल पावर कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इट इज फॉल्स एट हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड अलॉन्ग रिवर बैंक्स इट इज फॉल्स नाउ एक्टिविटी थ्री मैच दी फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट वन एसेंशियल इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी एयर एंड फूड सेकेंड हैबिटेट इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए फिश वॉटर बर्ड्स और एनिमल्स फॉरेस्ट और ट्रीज थर्ड वन प्रोडक्शन इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर एफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड इंडस्ट्री फोर्थ डिस्पोज इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ई गार्बेज एंड वेस्ट फिफ्थ रिक्रिएशन इट इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी योगा डांस म्यूजिक एंड स्पोर्ट्स एंड सिक्स वन कॉम्पोनेंट इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी कार टायर म्यूजिक हारमोनी एंड ब्लड वाटर नाउ वी विल सी एक्टिविटी नंबर फोर ह्योर आर सम वेज यू कैन सेव वाटर और मिस यूज इट टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड एंड पुट दैम इन अप्रोप्रिएट कॉलम्स सो यू कैन सी दी कॉलम्स अबाउट डूज एंड डोंट्स ऑफ द वाटर यूसेज एंड कंप्लीट इन योर वर्क बुक नाउ एक्टिविटी नंबर फाइव वर्क विद योर पार्टनर एंड लिस्ट योर डेली एक्टिविटीज वेयर एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज यूज डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली सो ह्योर आई हैव रिटर्न द डायरेक्ट यूज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एज वेल एज द इनडायरेक्ट यूज ऑफ एनर्जी एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो यू कैन सी एंड कंप्लीट इन योर वर्क बुक नेक्स्ट इज एक्टिविटी नंबर सिक्स डू यू नो वेयर डज द एनर्जी कम फ्रॉम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट यू नीड टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट वन इज विच आर टू मेजर डिसएडवाटेजेस ऑफ नॉन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी फर्स्ट वन इज दे आर नॉन रिन्यूएबल एंड फास्ट डिप्लीटिंग एंड सेकेंड इज दे लीव बिहाइंड हार्मफुल बाय प्रोडक्ट्स अपॉन कम्बशन देयर बाय कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पॉल्यूशन second question is read the words given below and tick mark the words where prefix re can be used so the words are recycle rebuild regain refill rewrite reexamine resell rejoin and regain next is activity number 7 uh, firstly you need to write the process of production of wind energy so the process is force of wind pushes against the turbines blades turbines blades rotate this rotation creates mechanical energy the spinning blades attached to a bulb and a low speed shaft turn along with the bla uh, blades the rotating low speed shaft is connected to a gearbox it connects to the high speed shaft on the opposite side of the gearbox The high speed shaft connects to an electrical generator. This generator converts the mechanical energy into electric energy. Spinning between 11 and 20 times per minute, each turbine can generate a maximum 1.5 megawatts of electricity. Now second is the process of functioning of water heater. So the process is Cool water enters the hot water cylinder from the mains. Inside a closed loop, water is pumped up to a solar panel on the roof. Water passes through metal pipes inside the panel and is warmed by the sun. The water then passes into a coil inside your hot water cylinder heating up water. A second coil inside the cylinder is connected to your boiler and brings the water up to the temperature set on the thermostat. Now activity number 8 our use of electricity and energy affect the environment. So here are some simple steps that can help us in saving the environment. So you need to divide them into the things you can do in different places. so first one is things i can do to save energy at home it is turn off all unnecessary lights use solar heater and do not leave your computer or tv on standby mode in the kitchen your gas stove flame 
should be blue cover utensils while cooking food and use pressure cooker and microwave ovens as they save cooking time and at the school you can save paper reuse paper print on both sides of the page and while traveling you can buy and use fuel efficient vehicles walk or ride a bicycle whenever possible and use public transport when possible now next is activity number 9 world without chocolate you need to read the paragraph and answer the questions given below them first one how do we get chocolates chocolates are made from cocoa which grows on cocoa trees second mention the examples of the commodities that we use which originate from plants or animals the rice we eat the clothes we wear the rubber tires we drive on originate from plants or animals third how are we losing biodiversity many of the plants and animal species are under severe threat of extinction this is how we are losing biodiversity now second paragraph question answers first one explain the word biodiversity the word biodiversity is made of two different words bio and diversity bio means life and diversity means variety so biodiversity is the variety of life around us and much more second what does biodiversity include biodiversity includes everything that living things do it is grand total of interactions of living things among themselves and with their environment third one illustrate interdependence of plants animals insects and human life a moth depends on one species of plant for food and the plant depends on the moth for pollination now question number 2 that is mcqs first one chocolates are made from its option will be cacao second cacao trees are grown in the forest of its option will be south america third cacao trees are at the risk of being its option will be extincted fourth many of the plants and animals are under severe threat of extinction it means its option will be a we are losing biodiversity fifth biodiversity means its option will be d variety of life around us sixth besides interdependent on one another plants and animals its option will be a make up their eco system seventh when scientists talk of biodiversity they refer to its option number c interdependence of plants animals insects and human life now question number 3 can you think of some ways in which biodiversity keeps you alive list any three of them biodiversity has great influence on ecosystem its services help us in three ways first provisioning services involve the production of renewable source, uh, resources second regulating services are those that lessen environmental change third cultural services represent human value and enjoyment now question number 4 which of your activities affect biodiversity list any three and note their effects so you can see the activities and the effects of the same I have written over here, and you can check and complete in your workbook the same thing. Okay. Next is activity number ten. Give such su uh, suggestions for conservation of biodiversity. So do's and don'ts of for the conservation of biodiversity are written over here. You can see and complete in your workbook. Next is the writing part. First question. write a letter to your friend about the project on biodiversity carried out in your school so the letter is dear friend how are you hope you are doing well i am writing this letter to tell you about the project carried out in our school on biodiversity the aim of the project was to introduce the school children with the significance of the biodiversity in the sustainability and maintenance of ecosystem in the world United Nations Environment Programme that is UNEP in collaboration with the local district administration organized the program which amused and informed us comprehensively 
वी केम टू नो अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीसीज ऑफ प्लांट्स इंसेक्ट्स एंड एनिमल्स आई विश टू शेयर द फोटोग्राफ्स विद यू अपॉन योर विजिट लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू मीट यू सोन योर लविंग फ्रेंड एक्स वाई जेड ना क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज राइट अ पैराग्राफ ऑफ अबाउट वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स ऑन सेव द एनवायरमेंट सो द पैराग्राफ इज द एनवायरमेंट रेफर्स टू अवर सराउंडिंग्स द एयर वॉटर एंड लैंड अराउंड अस फॉर सेंचुरीज मैन हैज बीन पॉल्यूटिंग द एनवायरमेंट इन डिफरेंट वेज एनवायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन ऑफ एनी काइंड एडवर्सली अफेक्ट्स पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड मेक्स द लोकैलिटी अनसेफ फॉर लिविंग पीपल इन अर्बन एरियाज जनरली सफर फ्रॉम रेस्पिरेटरी डिसीजेस ड्यू टू एयर पॉल्यूशन द टाइम हैज कम वेन वी मस्ट थिंक वेरी सीरियसली अबाउट प्रोटेक्टिंग अवर एनवायरमेंट एंड कंट्रोलिंग पॉल्यूशन वन वेरी मॉडर्न मैथड ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग पॉल्यूशन इज रिसाइकलिंग वेस्ट मैटर द पॉल्यूशन अंडर कंट्रोल दैट इज पी यू सी चेक्स इन मेजर सिटीज ट्राई टू कीप वेहीक्यूलर पॉल्यूशन अंडर कंट्रोल फार्मर्स कैन बी एनकरेज टू यूज नेचुरल फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ केमिकल वंस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट कैन बी डन इज टू मेक द पब्लिक अवेयर अबाउट द नीड टू कंट्रोल पॉल्यूशन एंड टू प्रोटेक्ट द एनवायरमेंट and here we come to the end of chapter number 1 that is the world around us i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you